Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making some Paul Klee cats. Who was Paul Klee? He was an abstract expressionist who created artworks using very simple forms, simple shapes, and simple colors. Um, so let's begin. And we're going to be drawing our cat. We're going to have our paper up and down so we have most amount of space for our cat. At the top of our paper, near the middle, we're going to be drawing a circle for our cat's head. From here, we're going to draw our two triangles. It's okay if they're not perfect. Our cat is going to be kind of a hodgepodge anyway. On our cat's ears, we're going to draw some half circles. So we're going to do one on this side and then one over here. Next, we're going to be drawing a line down the middle. We're going to stop halfway and we're going to draw a triangle right there. After you draw your triangle, you're going to continue with your line and we're going to draw two lines going out. So like an upside down Y for our cat's nose and mouth. For our cat's eyes, we're keeping a number of simple, simple shapes. We're going to be doing a square. And we're going to do another square. Now inside the square you can either do a diamond or you can do a circle. I'm going to do one diamond, one circle, but you can decide which one you want to do. After I do the eyes, I'm going to add the whiskers, which are three lines going out. One, two, three, and three on the side. One, two, three. After that we're going to move on to our body and we're going to go from the edge here and we're going to go straight off our page on both sides. We're going to add in a curve line a little bit below the chin and you can add a pattern in here. I'm just going to do zigzag. Down here I'm going to draw a line that goes straight down and two, a couple horizontal lines. Now if you want to add a tail for your cat, you can go ahead and do that. I'm just going to have a tail kind of go up. And I'm just going to break it apart with some lines. So there's my cat. Next, I'm going to outline it. Now if you don't want to outline, you do not have to. I like to outline just because it makes everything a little more bolder. Now if you want to add anything to your background, you can add images for your cat. Maybe there's a toy back there, maybe there's not even a mouse or a bird, or even a food bowl. Be creative and creating your background if you want to have one. I'm going to keep mine pretty plain. Alright, now that I'm done outlining, I'm going to start to color. First, I'm going to start off with a couple colors from my cat. I'm going to choose orange, different oranges, maybe brown. I'll grab a yellow too. So I have some different oranges here for my cat. And I'm going to go ahead and color in my cat. So think of your shapes. Keep in mind your shapes. Don't just scribble all over everything. Try to choose like one color and kind of collect all those colors and use just that one color. So if you did pink, you could use pink and red. If you did purple, you can do different purples. Maybe you have a blue cat. You make your cat, you know, whatever color you want to make it. So this is its collar, so the collar can be a different color. I'm going to use that, this color down here on his body and his tail. I 
All right, next, I have my next color. Ooh, that's pretty. chin and my last orange I'm gonna use for his spots was a little too similar to that one but it's okay Next, I'm going to do his eyes, and you can decide on what color you want to make his eyes. I'm going to do black. Some pink for the nose. And some blue. I think I'm going to do blue for my background, and then I haven't forgot that. I'm going to do green for his collar. There you go. There's my Paul Clean Cat. 